Welcome to the Microbit tutorial where we'll go through the main features and parts of the Microbit so you understand and begin to know what they do. So first off here we have button A which is a push button and is an input. Here we have button B which is also an input button and can be used to control objects. Here we have a 5x5 LED matrix <coughs> 25 matrix, uh, 25 LEDs, which can be used uh, either to light up or scroll messages across. Um, and you can control each one, or you can control the whole matrix yourself. On the back, we have the reset button. This is like resetting your computer. And uh, after a program is being installed, if you want to restart the program, you can press the reset button. We have the USB connection. And we also have Bluetooth. We also have a battery connection. There is also the processor, which obviously calculates and uh, computates all the instructions that we give it. There is a compass for um, working out which direction the microbit is facing. We have an accelerometer, uh, which can measure the X, Y, and Z rotation of the microbit. And at the bottom, we have the rings, which can be used to connect extra wires to. So, for example, I can build a circuit by connecting this one to number one. And then this wire can connect to another part. I also have a touch capacity sensor here, which if I touch will register as an input. Two ways you can power it, either number one, you can plug in the battery. So standard battery pack that comes with it, AAA, and this slots into here. Now, if there's a program already running on the uh, or flash to the micro bit, it will run. So, this is my program here already running. The other way to do it is to connect directly to your PC. And then take your USB connection and connect this to your computer. 